Want to get hands-on with one of cybersecurity's essential skills, vulnerability scanning, completely for free? Well, today in this project, I'm going to show you how to set up Nessus Essentials, which is a professional grade scanner that's completely free and scan a real vulnerable machine from Vulnhub. By the end of this project, you'll know exactly how to run your own scans, spot real world vulnerabilities, and start building your cybersecurity skills the right way in a safe, legal lab that you control. And before we dive in, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm absolutely thrilled that you're here to check out the content and to all my amazing returning subscribers, a massive thank you. We recently crossed 850 subscribers, which absolutely blows me away. I'm incredibly grateful for every single one of you, for your support, your comments, and just being part of the journey. It means a lot. All right, let's get stuck in and set up your first vulnerability scan. So we need somewhere to set up Nessus Essentials. Although you can run it on loads of different platforms, for this demonstration, we're gonna run it inside of Kali Linux. So let's go ahead and get the Kali Linux distribution. If we head over to Kali.org, you're greeted with this homepage. We're going to go ahead and download a copy. In this download page, there's lots of different options, but we're gonna go for one of the pre-built virtual machines. Um, in a previous video, we set up VMware Workstation Pro for free. Uh, if you don't have that already and you want to know how to get that all set up, I'll link that video um, in this one. So let's go ahead and download a copy of the VMware pre-built virtual machine. Once the file's finished downloading, navigate to where you downloaded the file, and we just need to extract it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my extraction tool of choice. And once that's extracted, we'll go ahead and load the VM into VMware Workstation Pro. Let's let this finish. So now that the extraction has finished, let's navigate to our extracted folder. And in here, we should find a VMX file. And if we double click on that, it's actually gonna import it straight into VMware Workstation Pro and it's ready to run straight off the bat. So let's start this VM. And once that's started, we should be able to log in. The default credentials for the Kali Linux distribution is Kali Kali. So once that loads, we'll log in and we'll make sure the OS is up to date. And then we'll go ahead with getting Nessus Essentials. Here we go. So the default credentials, Kali Kali. You would have seen this on the Kali download page. And there we are, just like that. We've downloaded a pre-configured VM um, and we've imported it directly in and it's ready to go. So let's go and do our usual stuff. Let's do uh, sudo apt update. That's gonna update the repositories. And then we'll also run an upgrade just to make sure we've got the latest version of everything on this VM before we get started. Okay, that's finished and we can see there's over a thousand packages that need to be updated. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, run the upgrade command to get all of those upgraded. And once that's finished, we will go ahead and continue with Nessus. Okay, so now that all of your packages are upgraded, you're ready to go and get a copy of Nessus Essentials. So let's fire up our Firefox browser, and let's navigate to the download page. So I have created a quick short URL to make it easier to get to the correct page, joshbc.com forward slash get Nessus. And that's gonna take us to the page. Um, and we'll make sure we're on the correct version of Linux, which we are, and then the latest version of Nessus. Yep, let's download that. And we'll accept the terms and conditions. That's gonna go ahead and download to our downloads folder, which we can open here. And let's open terminal with the downloads folder already selected. So now we can just install that with sudo apt install. And let's tab complete, pop in our sudo password, and it's gonna go ahead and install Nessus. Okay, now that the installation is finished, let's copy this command and let's run that. Okay, let's try that again with sudo. So with that service now running, we can go ahead and open the Nessus web UI. Here we have a link at the end of the install command. So let's go ahead and control click on that. And we should see that we have an instance running. So Let's uh, go through and get this set up. So we want to register for Nessus Essentials. Uh, this is gonna ask for some details. 
Okay, once we've done that, we're gonna get an activation code and then we can go ahead and set up an admin account for this Nessus instance. Let's do that. Setup complete. And now it's gonna go ahead and download all of the plugins, make sure um, the feeds are up to date and then we should be ready to go. Okay, once you actually get into the web UI, you're gonna see that the new scan button is grayed out. And that's because Nessus behind the scenes is downloading all of the plugins, configuring the plugins and the core components. Uh, so you're gonna have to wait for this to fully finish before you're able to actually run a scan. You'll see this little loading icon up here, which you can hover over, and it's gonna tell you what's actually happening right now. So you can see it's compiling the plugins at 21%. You're gonna have to wait for all of this to finish and then you're ready to go. So the installation of the plugins and the core components can take a long time. So go get yourself a coffee, take a break and come back and hopefully it will be ready to go. So I went away for a few hours, had a coffee, had some food, I've come back and uh, the scan button is now available. So all of the plugins and components are ready and we're ready to go and run a scan. So if we click on new scan, you can see that we've got all of these options now. But the first thing we need to do is have something that we can scan. So let's go ahead and get another VM running that we can scan. So I'm on the Voln Hub website. If you're unsure what that is, it's basically a repository of ready to go VMs that have been designed by people to be vulnerable. In this case, I'm gonna download a copy of this VM called Volnix. And then once that's downloaded, I'm gonna extract it, load it into VMware Workstation Pro, ready to scan. So the download is finished and I've extracted the files. And here we have another VMX file. I'm gonna double click on that and it's gonna import it into VMware Workstation Pro for me. I'm gonna power on this VM and then we'll have a vulnerable Linux VM running in uh, our VMware Workstation Pro, ready for us to scan. So let's get that started up. Once that's fully started, we can go ahead and find out what its IP address is, and then we can execute a scan. So back in Nessus, let's go and start a new scan. And we're gonna use host discovery so we can find out what the IP of our Voln Hub box is. So let's go into host discovery and let's give it a name. So we'll just call it find uh, Voln Hub box. And we need to give it a uh, target. So what we're gonna wanna do is go into our command prompt, find out what the subnet is that we're on. So let's do ifconfig. And we can see that this host is on 192.168.9.132. So let's go uh, 192.168.9, oh, 192 and then we're gonna do zero forward slash 24. And that's gonna scan the whole subnet and see which machines are up. So we're gonna save that and we're gonna run this command. Once that's finished, we should get a list of hosts come back and then we'll have the IP of our Voln Hub box. This particular Voln Hub box doesn't give us login credentials. So we don't actually know how to get onto the box to see what IP it is. We could also run an Nmap scan, but because we're demonstrating Nessus, we're better off just using the host discovery feature um, so that we can see what IPs are up. Okay, so our network discovery scan is finished. So let's go in and see what we've got. Okay, so dot one is gonna be the host machine. So we have dot one three three, which is gonna be our VON machine. So we've used that to quickly find out where our machine is. So let's grab that IP and we'll run a um, vulnerability scan. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to our scans. Let's create a new scan and we're gonna choose basic network scan. And let's throw that IP in as the target and let's call it um, our first phone scan. And we'll save that and execute. So we'll leave that for a while to uh, finish running and then we'll come back and have a look at the results. So one other thing to mention while that scan's running is you can actually click into the scan and see the results as they're coming in. So here we can see that it's already got 31 informationals and one critical. And if we click into the vulnerability tab, we can see that the critical is NFS share information disclosure. So um, if you wanna follow along, you can click in and see what it's finding real time, but we'll join back here once it's completely finished. Okay, so at this stage, we can see that our vulnerability scan is completed. There's a tick here. And if we double click into it, we will see all of the results. 
So we can see that Nessus has categorized the results in um, different severities. So we've got critical, high, medium, low, and info. Um, you'd hope not to see this many on a normal host, uh, but because we've got a vulnerable host, I was expecting to have quite a few here. If we jump into this vulnerabilities tab, you can see that it gives you a breakdown of all of the different vulnerabilities that is picked up, including a lot of informational stuff that it's been able to gather from the host as well. So you can also then click into one of these vulnerabilities and review all of the details that it gives you. So here we've got um, a NFS share that has been left open, and we can see here that it's actually gone and pulled the information of that share and it was able to mount it as part of the scan. So it's called Home Volnext, which makes sense because that's the name of our VM that we're scanning. Uh, if we go back here, we've got a lot of different things, like um, here's something to do with the version of Linux. You can see that it's showing this is no longer maintained, so it's not gonna receive the latest security patches. And yet, basically, this is the full loop. So you run a scan against a target, you find the vulnerabilities, you learn about the vulnerabilities, and then in a real scenario, you're gonna go and patch those, or in an ethical hacking scenario, you would go and try and exploit those. So one last thing to look at in this UI is if we go back to our scan, we can um, configure this further. So there's a lot of different options in here. You can um, send notifications, you can provide it with credentials. So if you give it SSH credentials or Windows credentials, it's gonna go a step further and try and log in and see what vulnerabilities it can find while it's authenticated. So we ran a default scan, but if we go into the discovery settings here, we can have it scan all ports instead of just the common ports. We can also go into assessment and by default, it doesn't do any web application scanning. So we can change this to scan for web applications. There's also quick and complex options. Obviously they're gonna vary in speed. Um, and if we go back to the scans page and create a new scan, you can also see there's a lot of different options here. We've got AD scans, we've got credential scans, we've got um, malware scans. There's all sorts of different options that you can explore here. There's a couple of things to bear in mind with this project. Nessus Essentials has a limit of 16 IP addresses, which is perfect for your home lab and just testing and learning. You also need to make sure that you're ethically using the tool. Even though VulnHub machines are meant to be scanned, only scan machines you have explicitly set up for practice in your own lab, or you have express permission to scan. Never point Nessus at machines that you don't have permission to scan. And also make sure you keep Nessus updated. There's always updates to the software and the plugins, so make sure you keep it updated so that you've always got the latest vulnerability data for you to get the most accurate scans. And there you have it. You've successfully set up Nessus Essentials a professional grade vulnerability scanner, and you've also set up a target practice VM from VulnHub, and you've run your first vulnerability scan. If you enjoyed this content, you found this guide helpful, or you learned something new, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more content like this, give us a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.